If your vehicle has advanced smart cruise control, driving is about to get a whole lot more convenient. When you turn the system on and set a speed, the system uses radar to detect the distance between you and the traffic in front and automatically adjusts your speed to maintain a proper distance. Here's how it works. Press the cruise button on the steering wheel to turn the system on. The cruise indicator light in the instrument cluster will illuminate. Accelerate to the desired speed, which must be above 25 miles per hour, and press set. Your speed is now set, and the system will automatically maintain a distance of about 172 feet from the car in front of you. You may wish to change this distance, though, based on speed and road conditions. To change, just press the distance setting button on the steering wheel. The default setting, about 172 feet, is distance setting 4. You will see four bars. Press once to move the distance to about 130 feet. Three bars will show. Press again to move within approximately 106 feet, indicated by two bars, and press a third time to close within approximately 82 feet, with one bar showing. The higher your speed, the more distance you will want between your vehicle and the vehicle in front. Your cruise control will operate as normal and maintain its set speed when the lane ahead is clear. When traveling in traffic, however, if the system senses that you're getting too close to the vehicle ahead, it will automatically slow your vehicle down to help maintain the set distance. The system may even bring your vehicle to a complete stop if necessary. If the vehicle ahead of you stops and begins moving again within three seconds, your vehicle will begin moving again as well. However, if the vehicle stops for more than three seconds, you must depress the accelerator pedal or move the resume set lever up or down to start driving. To manually cancel Smart Cruise Control, depress the brake pedal or press the cancel button. You should be aware of the system's limitations, which are discussed in your owner's manual. Never rely solely on the advanced Smart Cruise Control system. For example, on curves, the Smart Cruise Control system may not detect a moving vehicle in your lane every time. Likewise, when a vehicle moves into your lane, that vehicle may not be recognized by the sensor until it is fully within the sensor's detection range. The sensor only recognizes other automobiles or trucks. It will not recognize motorcycles, bicycles, debris, or other objects on the road. Always be prepared to use your brake pedal to stop the vehicle. Remember, Advanced Smart Cruise Control is not a substitute for responsible driving practices. It should only be used as a convenience device and when traveling in open highways in good weather. And because the radar device is located in the front bumper area, always keep the front bumper clean so that the system operates properly. If desired, there is a way to use conventional cruise control instead of advanced smart cruise control. Just turn the system on by pressing the cruise button on the steering wheel. Set your speed and then press and hold the distance setting button for three seconds until the conventional cruise control mode is displayed in the instrument cluster. The system will now operate without the distance monitoring and speed adjustment functions of Advanced Smart Cruise Control. To re-enable the Advanced Smart Cruise Control, press and hold the distance setting button for three seconds until SCC mode is displayed in the instrument cluster. Consult your Kia Owner's Manual for more information about system limitations and for a list of circumstances in which it will cancel automatically. To help you get better acquainted with these and other features, check your Owner's Manual or Features and Functions Guide for complete operating information and safety warnings.